Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2. Today, December 15th, 2016, is the 5th anniversary of The Sims Freeplay. Woohoo! That's right, it was released 5 years ago today on December 15th, 2011. So happy birthday, Sims Freeplay! Happy birthday! Their social media accounts have been doing some really cool celebrations. They're showing all the numbers Sims Freeplay has achieved over the past five years, like the fact that there have been over 25 million weddings in the game. That is absolutely crazy. <laughs> and the fact that ginger hair is the most popular hair color in the game. Not so crazy. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we were thinking of what we could do to celebrate The Sims Freeplay's fifth birthday, and we thought we'd do a top five video. Our top five tips for how to play the game. We also wanted to do something like this because obviously Sims Freeplay is a big part of our channel. The game developers have been so kind to us over the past year especially, and you, our viewers, have been wonderful to us over the past two years. So we wanted to do a video to share the top five things we've learned over our long time playing the game. Hopefully it'll also be helpful for newer players. I know way back in the day when we were new to the game, we would have loved having these tips. And anything that helps new players is pretty good in my opinion, hopefully, because we want the community to just get bigger and better. So without further ado, here's tip number one. Always have your sims doing something. Sims who are gardening or going to work will earn experience points so you level up and earn simoleons so you have money to spend. Sims who practice hobbies will help you earn experience points, simoleons, and also lifestyle points. Yep, so if you have a sim that's just standing around doing nothing or sleeping, put them to work. We've made several videos already about specific ways to earn simoleons, LPs, and how to build a workhouse. Tip number two, get a sim to the highest level in each hobby. There are a lot of different time-limited events in this game which depend on completing hobby collections over and over in order to win special prizes. Usually, you only get a week or two to complete the hobby collection enough times to win all the special prizes. The problem is, you won't be able to complete a hobby collection even once unless you have unlocked all the items you need to collect. The way to unlock all the items in the hobby is by getting a sim to the highest level in the hobby. Once that happens, any sim will be able to get any item in the hobby collection no matter what level they are. But it takes time to get a sim to the highest level. If there's a limited time event going on, it helps a lot if you've already done that, because then all the hobby items will already be unlocked and you won't have to spend valuable time during the event leveling up. Now, you don't have to have a sim at the highest level all the time. You just need to have them hit it once. And then, like we said, any sim will be able to get any item no matter what level they are. So tip number three, don't start quests if you don't have to. There are two types of quests in this game, required quests and discovery quests. Required quests come in order, one after another, and they start immediately after you finish the one before it. You don't have any choice about them starting. The second type of quest is discovery quests, and these do give you a choice about whether to start them or not. Usually they'll give you a pop-up screen that asks to say yes or no, or you have to find a character in the park or build something. Our advice is to do all the required quests first, and say no to all discovery quests until you're ready for them. This is because it can be really difficult to do more than one quest at a time. Most quests have special prizes for completing them in a limited time, so it helps a lot if you can just focus on one quest only. That brings us to tip number four, my personal favorite. Use the timer and alarm function on your device to keep track of quest tasks. Here's the thing, guys. All quests can be finished in their time limits. Yes, a lot of tasks will take hours, but when you add up all the tasks in a quest, you will always be able to finish everything with hours to spare before the time limit runs out. Obviously, you can't be on your game all the time. You people, sure? <laughs> people have to sleep and work and go to school and live their lives. But we do find it really helpful to set timers on our phones or tablets once we start a quest task. So then an alarm will go off when the sim is supposed to finish reading their book or baking their pie and we can start the next task as soon as possible without losing too much time in between. One thing to remember though is that if you can't finish a quest in time and you lose the special prize, it's okay. The quest will still give you something or unlock something even if you don't get the special prize. And sometimes the game developers will bring prizes back for people who miss them. For instance, when it's the birthday of the game. Tip number five. 
Find other players to talk to. There are so many discussion groups for Sims Free Play, and we've talked about them and linked to them many times on our channel. These groups have literally thousands of players, and they're just really good places to ask questions, get advice, and find neighbors. We'll link to our favorite groups again in the video description below, along with the other advice videos we've done. And even though we've done five tips already, here's a bonus tip. This game is a marathon, not a sprint. Most mobile games which are free to play require patience and take time. They're built that way to keep people playing. There are lots of other free mobile games besides Sims Free Play, which we've literally been playing for months or sometimes years. They just live on our phones and we just open them and check them and it's just been going on forever. Mm -hmm. We think a fun challenge of the game is seeing how well you can do trying to beat the time limits with good strategies and techniques like we've talked about in this video. And the rewarding thing about playing a game like Sims Free Play for so long is seeing how much it's grown and changed over the years. It's become so complex and they keep doing regular updates and they keep adding more and more stuff. I, I think it'll be really interesting to see where things are in another five years, hopefully. So happy birthday again to The Sims Free Play and thank you so much to the game developers for making this game and to you, our viewers, for watching our videos about the game and especially for sharing all of your experiences. Anyway, we hope you found our top five tips helpful. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you're new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Free Play on the way. Thanks for watching.